morning and welcome to day two of our solo holiday. A solo holiday. So it's like 9.30. Can you see the bags under my eyes? I'm really sleepy like, don't know what's going on with me. I'm a tired girl at the moment. Plan of action, I'm gonna go for breakfast. I need to edit some stuff on my phone like yesterday's vlog. And I'm gonna get into a bikini and go to the pool and just suntan baby nice and tan I'm already quite tan though that's what these solo holidays do for you yeah breakfast we'll see what it's like i'm hoping they've got fried eggs i need to put a little cardigan on this place they've got rules with breakfast like you can only wear certain things like rules with like eating like you can only wear like you can you have to cover up and stuff boring no i get it it's fine um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna find out how to get a pool towel as well. It's very, very hot already. I am boiling. Didn't feel scared, barricaded my door, as always. You don't believe me? You don't believe me, do you? Oh, what's that then? See? Yeah. Um, ooh. If someone tries to open it, the stuff will fall off that stool and it'll wake me up. I'm really smart, even though I don't look it. To the breakfast. So this is breakfast. Scrambled eggs, hash brown, and sauce brown. Scrambled egg bowl is that one. But there was no fried eggs. I think they ran out. I don't really know about this. Because I'm so healthy. It's not the nicest. <laughs> oh my god, I've managed to find fried eggs. And we've been so happy with my life. What more could a girl want? Okay, so I've just edited the YouTube vlog for yesterday, which took me ages. It's now like half 12. I'm going to go to the pool. I'm all sun creamed already. I've got my pool towel. It's just a case of finding a sun lounger. Like that's what's giving me the fear. It's gonna be fine. I'll figure it out. Let's go to the pool, pool. Let's go get away. They say what they gonna say. Da -da -da -da. I actually don't know that rap. Um, so I got a little sun lounger by the pool. Um, it's really really busy though and it's so warm. I'm glad I've got one but I think I was lucky to get one however it's not in the best position but it should be fine. So there are two guys that are like on their own and I've like spotted them and I spoke to them briefly at breakfast because we were queued together but I don't know if they're a couple or if they're both like friends. I'm in a predicament <laughs> so I'm like trying to suss out the situation. I wouldn't mind a little holiday romance. I don't even know if they're good looking. Maybe I'm just desperate at this point, but I don't know. I feel like they could be a couple. I'm not really sure. We'll find out. I do my detective skills. Update. 2 p.m. I've just had a drunk wee. I'm already drunk weeing, okay? So that's never a good sign. Still not sure if the guys are a couple. Trying to chip away at that. Might have to just go and be like, hey. Then they'll say, can you leave us alone? Weirdo. Anyway. I'm gonna go back to the pool, pool. This isn't good. This isn't gonna end well. This isn't gonna end well. I told you here, when you're watching this back tomorrow, Ellie, I told you. I'm drinking a lot of sangria. But every single time I drink a sangria, I also have a water. So really, it doesn't count, does it? That's my theory. Okay, so I just got a, I just got a love on the beach. <gasps> I just spilled it on myself. Oh, <laughs> delicious. Look, I'm all inclusive, so it's only right that I try all of the cocktails, right? That's what I would say. But I do make terrible decisions, so. Got a little sandwich that's in the all inclusive. It's a sandwich, and I'm hungry, so. But yeah, I actually just ordered a tap water instead of ordering a sangria for the first time. But yeah, I'm gonna dig in. I'm sangria out. I'm gonna have a little nap and then get ready for my dinner. I'm going to meet the girl that I mentioned yesterday, the girl that is like 10 minutes down the road and is also on a solo holiday. She's on my way to my hotel right now, so I feel like I'm on a blind date. Like, I'm off to go and, I'm off to go and find her. I just feel a bit like, what? But it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Social anxiety hasn't even got time to peek at it, peek its head because I'm just going straight there, so. <sighs> oh, we just met for a little drink. Like, sat for an hour and was just chatting and it was really nice. I didn't want to vlog while I was there because I thought it might be a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, and she's here all week, so I'm potentially meet her again. Just came back to the hotel for a quick wee. But yeah, that was really nice. Now I'm going to overanalyze everything I said and did and completely critique my social performance. I'm wondering whether I was came across as a loser or not. That's what I do after every social interaction. It's part of the process. Right, let's go get some food. Also, I didn't vlog it because like, 
I don't know, I just met this girl for the first time, I thought I can't just be like, hey, here's me and my new friend. Like, I just couldn't do that. I could, come on, you gotta bear with me there. Have you ever seen less vegetables in your life? Literally just got bread, chips, pasta. I just don't, like ever since Mexico, I'm just so scared of eating anything like meat wise or seafood wise, like I'm just terrified. I have also got a glass of rosé. And yeah, I'm starving, so I'm gonna enjoy it, definitely. I might even go for round two. I've got round two of my food. Bread rolls, some salami, some chicken curry, and some cheese. Is there any wonder I am alone? State of it. Got myself a really fancy dessert. I'm gonna eat this and then maybe I'll go to the bar again, I don't know. I could go and watch BBC News. But yeah, I might go and get like a sangria and search for those Am I a predator? I could be. No, I'm not. Um, honestly, if you just keep your AirPods in while you're eating alone, like, I could be on a work call right now, no one even knows. Brilliant, like, brilliant idea, my number one solo travel trip. And also, just not caring what people think. Don't care. I do a bit though, but, yeah. So, this is my situation. I'm just sat at the bar. Got a mimosa. The waiter called me a princess. He actually called me his princess. So, I guess I have a boyfriend now. Um, yeah, no sign of anybody. I'm just gonna sit here, listen to the piano, and drink myself to sleep. I'm gonna have one, maybe two, or five, I don't know, we'll see. Oh my gosh. I never met the love of my life tonight. And I was kind of hoping I would. I was hoping for a miracle. And the girl that I went out for drinks with, that we've been messaging, and she's had a group, a big group of guys, check into her hotel and she sat having drinks with them. And I'm in my hotel alone. I said, I just said, don't be surprised if you see me at the pool tomorrow, at your pool, because I need to about my life. I want a boyfriend. I do, I do a little bit, but it's like, I just want someone to flirt with. I just want to have like a little holiday romance. You know, with a cute, a cute guy. Oh well, at least I've got BBC News on the telly. So I'm gonna wash my face and yeah, stick some news on and um, upload my podcast episode for tomorrow. And <coughs> whoa, who was that? Let's go get ready for bed. I'm all ready for bed. Watching Modern Family. I'm really thirsty, but I've got no water left. But it's fine. So I'm gonna go to sleep now and I will see you tomorrow. It's about to go to bed, then I find little baby spiders everywhere. Spider must have given birth to its children and they're just running around the room. What do I do? Do I ask for another room? I'm gonna grow. Oh no, I don't wanna have to deal with this. Oh man. I had to end them and I know that's not right because I never ever heard anything like spiders in my house I like I just pick up and put out the window but there's so many look at this can you see that there's like a million spiders on there I've squashed with it because they're and basically basically they're living in the phone the phone next to my bed every time I bang it they come out of the buttons I don't know what to do they don't know what to do where's the mum morning so the good news is I wasn't eaten alive by spiders last night. The bad news is, I look like this. It's cloudy, it's really cloudy, and it's forecast rain. And it's gonna be cloudy tomorrow as well. So that's great. Uh, but, you know, I'm alive, I'm well. Can't complain. So it was leaky. I need to brush my teeth. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, get some breakfast because it's going to close soon, so. This is what I've got for breakfast. Just some of And I know, they've seen it. Feel it in my bones. I'm just trying to upload mine and Lucy's podcast episode. Oh, the sun's just come out. I can't leave this room because it goes live at six and she's gone to Miami. I'm here. It won't download on my iPad. It's not good. Then I need to go to the shop. We're gonna go and find a shop so I can buy a big bottle of water and some snacks. Anyway, come out into the town to try and find a shop 
because I need some water but it's like really touristy around here so I think I'll find a shop very easily. I did walk past my guys playing ping pong. 99% sure they're a couple now. I really thought I might have given you all a holiday romance but to be fair looking like this I ain't even washed my hair. Who am I kidding? Even if they weren't a couple they'd probably think I was ugly anyway. I've got the goods. Um, yeah so I'm gonna go back to my hotel gonna have a little drink of water see if the sun comes out if it doesn't then i'm gonna go on and explore we'll have a walk round here see what we can find might find a little bar get drunk on my own living life so i was gonna go and get some drinks in a bar the sun keeps coming out so i'm gonna go and get some lunch because it's free it's only half one and just see whether it's sunny or not and then i can always go to the bar later it's really cute though look at this uh let's go get some Food. I haven't been for lunch yet and I've paid for it, so I thought, why not? Let's do it and let's get some drinks. Oh my God, stop it. Got some pizza, some chips, and I actually got some carrots because I thought I need to eat some vegetables because I'm just not eating any at all. Not much to choose from really, but it's just lunch, so I'm not really bothered. So I've got myself a sangria. I don't usually drink sangria, but it's actually really nice from here and it's free, so I'm just sat at a table by myself. It's actually really cold. Um, I might need to put like some trousers on. This will do for now. I've got my second drink. This is like the hotel special, I think. Very nice. Or maybe it's the sangria that I just had that's making it taste nice. Did I mention that my guys are playing um, ping pong over there? If they're ever going to approach me, if they're not a couple, now is the time like come on i'm just sat by myself having a cocktail if they don't now then it's never gonna happen god am i desperate no i'm not desperate i'm just bored oh my god so they came up to me they finally approached me and they said that they've been calling me breakfast bird for the last two days because they've and they've been really like obsessed with the mystery around me like wondering what my story is whether i have a boyfriend that's got like food poisoning in the room or if i'm just on my own and why i'm on my own and i'm drunk they said they were going to invite me out last night um but then they thought it might be a bit weird and they asked me what my plans were for the rest of the day and now i'm like and i just said you know where to find me on this table but also the girl that i met yesterday has um invited me out potentially if she she's met some cute guys and if they're gonna go out then she's invited me to go out with them and then there's a really good looking barman that's just started his shift i'm spoiled for choice but the room is spinning i'm not even in a room i'm i'm in the fresh air let me show you where i am but it's very exciting this is my view i've just come for a drunk wee and myself now to stop drinking oh what's that that's another drink. I'm actually stopping because I can feel it now and I know when I get to this point is when I have to stop. No more. After that one, no more. No. No more, Ellie. But because I told those guys, you know where to find me, I'll be on this table. Why did I say that? Because now I've got to stay there until they come down. I'm currently waiting for them to come back here to find me. I'm going to give it 30 more minutes and if they don't, I'm just going to cry myself to sleep i'm joking am i you gotta enjoy these times in your life haven't you like i'm doing a solo holiday i'm in my 20s i'm gonna look back on this when i'm 50 and think wow that was such a fun time so if i wait at this table for another 30 minutes does it matter into the beach and now i'm walking along the beach because i want to make myself feel normal um <laughs> i don't know the sangria is doing my thinking for me i need to just chill out a little walk and go get some food. I just want tonight to be exciting. The journey I'm on right now, I feel lonely right now. I can't lie to you. I think it's because I had the prospect of like not feeling lonely and now I'm like, I'm lonely. This is dinner. I know how to put together a healthy beige colourless meal. So I just came to the bar, like I was feeling really bad and then I went to my room and I was like, I don't want to be at my room. So I thought, Do you know what, I'll just come back to the bar. Get drunk again. But my friend is not going out with them guys anymore, I'm assuming, because she hasn't messaged me. And my guys are nowhere to be found. Don't know, feeling a bit like, but it's fine, all is good. So um, they came back 
I looked to my right and there they were. And they were like, hey, how was your evening? I've gone to watch the Champions League. They invited me to watch it. But I thought they were just being nice. And I also thought I'm going to end up in a bar with loads of guys and these two random men that I don't know. They gave me the Instagram and they said they'll message me after they've watched the football. And I'm like, okay. I'm a bit sick from all these cocktails. I'm probably going to end up asleep before anything even happens. You guys. So. I don't know why I'm feeling so sad. <laughs> I'm just sick of guys. Obviously, I was all like, woo. I was thinking those two guys were like chatting to me and then that invited me out and blah, blah, blah. And obviously I got one of their Instagrams so that they could message me to say where they were. And then when I got their Instagram, just I was stalking them. And like, I went on the tag pictures and there's pictures with both of them with two girls. So then I go on the girls' profiles and there's like, pictures with them like they hadn't posted since like december but still like they've been posting way back in 2016 so it's obviously like a long-term relationship i would think they're probably still together and like maybe they were just being friendly but i don't i think if you've got a girlfriend like you don't invite another girl out do you know what i mean i don't know but it just makes me think of guys and think like how do they do it and it makes like all these trust issues that i have it just makes me think oh my god they really are like that maybe they don't maybe they both broke up with their girlfriends i don't know but anyway and the girl that i hung out with yesterday she didn't message me so probably not gone out with the guys or maybe she has and she's having fun i don't know i just feel a little bit lonely like i i love doing this like i love it but it's like i don't know sometimes i wish i could just like have i don't even want like a boyfriend like i just want to meet someone and like have a nice romance and them not have a girlfriend or them not have some situation like obviously i have no emotional investment in these guys don't get me wrong like i'm not being a crazy person it's just kind of the whole principle of it of like for goodness sake like why do they do that like it's like how do you actually find like a genuine guy and like i sit there like having my drinks and my food there's just couples everywhere and I just think how did you find a good person and then I think oh but when he goes on holiday does he cheat on you like that's the way my brain works because I've been cheated on and because then I see like all I've experienced with being single is other guys guys cheating on their girlfriends or wanting to cheat on their girlfriends I've realized how common it is and it just terrifies me anyway I go brush my teeth it's time for bed. Okay, I'm in bed. It's fine in the world. Whatever is what I say. Um, I'm just watching Gossip Girl, but it's not the Gossip Girl I know. It must be like a reboot. I don't really know. It was just on the telly when I put it on. But anyway, um... That's the end of this vlog. If you've liked it, if you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, just interact so that I know that you've liked being here and I should keep going on holidays, keep doing these. Lovely spending the last two days with you and there will be another vlog. That will be the last vlog of this holiday. I'll see you in the morning.